Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is a quick video which shows how to link multiple containers together. So link what I mean is uh, by default we cannot connect two process of two different containers. So what we are going to today is uh, I'm, I'm going to show you how we can link uh, the process of one container to the process of another container. Uh, for the example we are going to create two containers today um, basically Redis containers and in the first container we will create a key value pair in the Redis then we will spin up another container uh, again same Redis container and we will connect from the second container to the first container and we will get the key values which we have set in the uh, first container uh, so uh, that's a plan and there is no code included this is just a command or which shows how we can uh, link uh, two containers together or how we can access from one container to uh, other container so let us do that now so let us spin up the first uh, redis container docker run let us name that as redis1 the reason because for the second container i'm going to name this redis2 to make it uh, more clear clear we will run this as in in detached mode because we if we run detached mode then we can run more commands uh, or or uh, you know the console will not be blocked uh, so that you know we can run it in detached mode a dash d means run the container in detached mode and uh, the name of uh, before that you know make sure uh, to log in to docker oh, that's docker login Okay, login succeeded. Now let us go back and run the container. Docker run. The reason because uh, this image is going to get from Docker Hub, and for that you need to log into Docker Hub. If you don't have an account with a Docker, go and create that, and then you have to log into that account. Okay, so uh, Docker done, and in detached mode, the name of the container is there it is one, and the image name is redis okay first it will try to get image in the local machine and but it, it couldn't find locally because of that it uh, is getting it from docker hub okay now we can see you know we can do more command the reason because we um, ran it in uh, detached mode okay um, now we have a uh, a running container of redis and if we go and look docker ps we can see uh, uh, the container that is this one this is the container name uh, this is the container id and this is the container name because we have given the name of, to that container as redis one okay so uh, it is running now um, let us connect to redis cla uh, because this is a running container and to um, execute more command on the running uh, running container we need to run docker exec command that is docker exec dash t dash uh, dash it means you know run it in interactive mode uh, that's dash it then the name of the container that is redis one then s h that will open uh, the interactive terminal for us okay there we can uh, connect to redis cli with redis dash cli that will connect to redis cli okay now it is connected to redis cli to make sure that is connected let us ping and we will get pong back it means it has been uh, connected to uh, redis um, cli okay now let us uh, set a key value pair here or set up, uh, set up and let, let us uh, add uh, some data to redis container um then uh, we'll you know add some key the name is maybe code with vj okay so we have set this value to see is that set properly get name and we are getting the getting code with vj back okay so now uh, the first uh, container is running fine and we have set some value to the container next thing we are going to do is uh to run another container 
and we are going to link uh, to this container from the new container we are we are creating and we are getting the new va value or this uh, this value the, the value which we have set to the second container okay let us go and do that now okay so we'll create the second one again in interactive or oh, before that let me exit from here exit and let us run the second one again in interactive mode and here we while running this container the second redis uh, container we need to link this container to the first one the name of the first one was redis one okay and here we can give an alias name it can be uh, maybe say a remote container because that's a remote container we need to connect okay later we'll refer this container as a remote uh, container okay while specifying the host I'll, I'll come to that okay and the name of the new container uh, let us name it as redis2 and the name of the image is there it is okay okay uh, this is because we, uh, we we still run it in interactive mode but we forgot to you know run in detached mode because of that you know we we can't we can't see um, anything so what we can do is let me go and run it again in detached mode and when we run this there's already a container created with the name redis2 uh, probably what we can do is let me stop that container and let me remove that container okay else you know, it will not allow to create uh, containers in with same name so for that docker stop and the container name is redis2 okay and to remove that container docker rm redis2 now that content has been removed for that let us go and see docker psa and there is no such container called redis2 now everything is fine let us go back and run this in detached mode now you might understand what is a detached mode okay now uh, the content is running let us go and double check that docker ps and here we can see redis2 is running okay let us try to execute a process with that container that is docker exec and uh, run it in interactive mode and the container name that is redis2 and the shell now it is connected to um, second container uh, let me do one thing let me clear this uh, probably this is not really uh, visible to you okay now what we need to do is we need to connect again the redis cli but the redis cli of uh, the remote uh, host or, or uh, uh, the remote redis cli which we have spun a um, few minutes back so for that what you need to do is redis dash cli and here we need to mention uh, remote oh sorry we need to mention the host and the name of uh, the second uh, the first container we have given was uh, remote in fact i forgot that that's i think remote uh, redis i think let us see remote redis yeah that is uh, not correct uh, let me do one thing let me double check what the name i have to give one uh, that is remote container okay uh, that was the name fine let us run it again okay, let me type Uh, redis2 the shell and uh, redis dash 
CLA and the host is a remote container. Okay. Now it has connected to uh, the remote Redis or the first Redis container which we have created. Okay, and let us try to get the name from that container. There you go. We, here we can see uh, the code or or the key which we have set uh, or the value which we have set in the other container. So we are getting that back. Um, so yeah, this is what I wanted to show today. How we can link uh, multiple uh, containers or how or how we can connect from one container to uh, other container. Okay, it's, it's as simple as this. Um, and. Uh, thank you very much for watching and in upcoming videos i'm going to create a, a dot core um, api which connect to sql server and will containerize everything together so in that place you know you might need or or you, you need uh, to know how to link uh, multiple containers together uh, the reason because we'll we'll run dot uh, core api in one container and sql server in another container and we'll connect those uh, two uh, containers together so there you need to know how, how, how to link two containers together. So stay tuned and uh, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification icon so that you will get notification when I upload the new video on SQL uh, Server and .NET Core API. I hope you really enjoyed this video and thank you for watching this.